this sweet, sweet little video is protected by fair use. It is not for profit. It is for free. It is for the purposes of education, comedy, entertainment, criticism, and commentary. Thanks for watching. Please like this video if you enjoy my glorious, glorious, beautiful, magnificent content, intelligent content. For mature audiences only, adults only, viewer discretion is advised. Hit the like button. It takes half a second. Hit the like button. Don't forget. Support my channel. It's free. Ended up having a tiny bit of flow state in one of his videos not too long ago, and I thought, hmm, this stuff is circling close to home. <clears throat> I don't even think I've ever been on Flo's panel. If I have, I hopped up for a moment to say one thing, but I don't think I've been on Flow State's panel. You know, but I can say this much that when I got dick slapped the second time, and maybe see people see correlation and causation. I've never seen it. I won't see it. I got dick slapped the second time with porn bomb let up on my stage. You know, sometime 20 minutes later or so, Flokes showed up. And was human with me. Okay? Talked to, we talked about our similarities. We have the same educational background. We laughed. He, you know, he said I was being a little bit extreme with my stop eyeball grape. <laughs> you know, but if anyone saw my first reaction to being dick slapped, holy fuck, I went off for hours. You know, so um, I appreciate him coming and distracting me that day. If you're not emotional, Bex, why would you go off for hours? Why would you go off for hours? I'm not justifying what was done on your live stream, but why would you go off for hours if you're not an emotional woman? Explain that. I don't think you can. I don't think you see yourself. You get very angry. You get explosive. You go off for hours. You are emotional. You can say not all women, not me, but you are. Obviously. Just be honest. Own up to it. Nobody's being critical of you, but you can't own what you are. We can see you. We can hear you. You know? You're not fooling us by saying you're not emotional. You definitely are. So when I see him in a video like that, I can't help but feel a little bit protective, like, you know, um, a protective of the entire coronation street that we've created in our overlapping panel channels of people who accept each other or don't accept each other, but still continue to engage. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So now I'm sitting in a situation <clears throat> where I've definitely brought the optics straight on myself. I don't think I brought the optics on anyone else. I mean, in, uh, in situations, you know, any, anyone we discussed up there was brought up by other people. And uh, as it circled close to home, even people that I don't know well that have had frictions with people that I do know well. So, for instance, Drew from CBO, I've never had a problem with him. I still don't have a problem with him and I'm not going to shit talk him just because somebody else has had a problem with him. That's not my nature. I've seen him have problems with people and sort them out. That's what I've seen. So, and I'm not cupcaking. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm one so, of those people, by the way. I know. I know. And even as I tried to talk to Sanity Machine about, you know, just the the even further back stories with Matt from Quantum of Conscience and 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 your your you what I'd learned just the day before, you know, his only the only thing he wanted to know was, well, did I ever watch these videos about him? And I said, like I said before, no, I don't watch the ones about myself. I'm not gonna watch the ones about you. You know, I don't need to.
so, so, so be it, you know, so be it. I guess you'll find lots of content over here amongst us to talk about for what, all I know. <clears throat> I thought about, I knew it. I knew it was like the muting and the Isabella 2.0. Maybe Isabella actually, I should get, that's Morgan. Morgan had said up here, let's see if I can find it. He says, no, I thought you were wanting someone over, over because we were trying to boost each other's streams and it was a clever way to introduce new people or channels to the community. So Morgan saw um, Stephen saying, hey, you know, hey, uh, Dark Realm 789, you go over there. And I was saying, hey, boy, over there. And Joe King was over here. I'm not part of your stupid community. I'm not a panel channel, not part of Bex's community or Benton or Chalk Body Outline, or Low T, EBT, uh, Toilet Bowl. I'm not part of any of that. I'm not part of what you're part of. I don't swim in the sewer, okay? If someone else decides to do, to do that, or thousands do, I don't do that. I'm not a follower. I'm a lone wolf. I stand alone. Understand? By the way, I don't need you for content. I'm covering this for a reason. It's beyond you to get people to see something bigger beyond you, Bex. There's plenty of content out there. There's plenty of things I can cover, millions of, millions of things. I don't need you for content. But I see what you are now. I see through you. And that's what worries you. And but on a panel over there chatting down in my chat saying, is it OK, Bex, that I'm over here? And I was like, I guess so. But I was totally playing. You know, I was just playing the it was it was fun for me. But and I don't mean fun because I'm fucking with people. I thought we were just we were just inventing a new way of networking and pretending to trade subs like trading cards, you know. But I well. guess. Yeah, I mean, I have a lot to say to all of that, but uh, I'm waiting for the uh, water to boil for the coffee. So okay. as soon as I start okay. talking, I'll have to get up and go over there. So Okay, perfect, perfect. We can keep I'd, going. I'd rather just listen. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I can keep going. So, yeah, I mean, this is this is the nature of my response, of the kind of responses that I've given out here. You know, the one thing I can say that actually the sanity is machine might have motivated me to do was just fucking open up whatever content I have out there. I got nothing to hide, friends. I don't think there's anyone out here you could take something I said to and actually fucking turn it into something that wouldn't actually, where I haven't actually already mod modeled the ability to... Uh, to learn from mistakes, to, 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 you know, to take some of the drama for what it is. And I don't mean like it's drama, like it's all made up, but we're just human beings out here. And I'll tell you some of the stuff that's happened to me in YouTube in the last couple of months has helped me grow up faster than anything I've ever done in my entire life. And I don't have any shame in any of it. But I know that it was very much a, a very specific person that was listening to me you know, taking clips of me to my friend. You know, most of the time when I've said something about someone in a, in a live stream, I've either corrected right after or by the end, I've said something to actually explain what I said at the beginning. But there's people out there that only listen for the shit, right? That's all they're look, listening for. And that's all they'll clip and they'll run off to other people with the nonsense like she sabotaged your live stream. She sent a guy over there. I'll tell you, the guy that came up here and disrobed on my channel, it only take, it took a minute for someone in the chat here to go look at his content. And beyond putting together a musical stream to Steven's music, there was actually a video of him dressed in a rainbow wig sucking on a soother. Not to yuck people's young, but that's not my thing, right? So in associations only from his channel to my channel, some freak came over here. Some freak came over here. You know, 
Whereas if he were to actually research the people clicking his link, he could very quickly check click on Isabella 2.0's live and see that Isabella 2.0 smokes weed on his own stream and admit. I have thousands of people on my channel. I don't have time to research everybody that comes to my channel. If I, the band people, you add them up, you add the ones, it's like 3,500 people that have been subbed. Okay. And some might have unsubbed and new subs. So it's a lot of people. I don't have time to do that. I don't live on the internet like you do, Bex. I don't live on the internet and watch everything that everybody, maybe you do that. So he's, she's saying if he'd taken the time, you talk about feminism, you haven't researched it. So there you go. I don't live on this like you do, day and night. And I'm not going to stay on and keep doing these recent live streams that I've done that have been epic long. I'm not going to do this forever. I don't want to turn into a back. Sorry, I'm eating chips and I'm trying to swallow part of a chip that's in my mouth. But I don't want to do this forever like Bex does, night after night, and turn into a miserable, uh, a miserable word that Paul from uh, what the Flock TV channel that she defended and cried over earlier likes to call people. I don't want to turn into a miserable capital C. Okay. Admits to being on a harm reduction program, okay? Not to air your laundry there, Morgan. You know, so it's not my job to tell you when you've brought someone up who actually mixes opiates in a harm reduction, uh, doctor prescribed way with marijuana, right? And now it's somehow I'm the one sending someone over there who on every stream looks like that on every stream can smoke marijuana and on every stream has his camera on every single fucking stream that morgan has ever been on until mine yesterday he has his camera on no one has ever asked him to turn it off until me he admitted that it made him feel actually a little bit disconnected from the stream right it had him you know uh Make burping, for instance, when he didn't realize it because he wasn't watching himself on stream. But we're not a community that sends people away because they're fucking drunk or high or hurting. You're not. Speak for yourself. I'm not part of your community at all. I don't want that on my channel. And uh, no more people are coming on my channel with a webcam on. If they have it on, they want to see their face, I'll tell them, turn it off, or I'll kick them off and ban them. That's it. I'm done with that shit. Nobody wants to see that. Okay, it's classless. He's not a genius. Okay? Keep so saying the word community and friends. You are, you sound ridiculous. Friends, community, where? And that's one of the things that makes us a quote unquote community, aside from the sheer fact that we just have links down and the same people click them. So. But his, Morgan is not my agent, but hey, Morgan, we could get together now and work this thing, right? Whenever I'm somewhere, I'll just be like, Morgan sent me. It's not my fault. It was my job. And if you're ever in shit, just say, tell them Beck sent you. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Beck sent me. She's obviously my handler. And yet, in essence, we sit in a scenario where Stephen's going to judge Snafu Snaps, for instance, for associating with me, when what Stephen does calling out big fucking shill channels is very similar to what Snafu Snaps does calling things out. But, but you know what? Stephen's going to look at the zebra thing on screen on stream he's going to take what he wants from the comments in chat 
and he's going to make the video that he wants out of it. So I just got to tell you guys, optics here are like pretty much guaranteed that there may be some sort of video made of my video. But I'm just going to say, this is the main response I'm doing, you know, because I don't oh, have I a wanna, problem. Yeah. I want to jump ahead, in please. real quick on expectations. That's where I think a lot of folks, this is just my opinion, screw themselves up interpersonally is then so for me i have a very specific opinion about snafu's behavior what i, I have a right to respond you're already talking about me bex and she's trying to get ahead of the curve and then say if steven responds he's bad i can talk about him live for hours with people on my live stream and bash him and call him things and make up lies but if steven responds and makes content about this then steven's bad no, Bex, it doesn't work that way. I have every right to respond to you and show what you're saying and respond to it. So I don't misquote you. I don't make up things. I'm showing what you say and responding. I'm being fair. I'm doing what you can't do. You can't do that. You can't be fair. You haven't been and you can't be fair. Not just to me, but to Callie and to everyone else that didn't get along with you. Okay? Because of how you are. You don't get along with others. You didn't really get along with people on my channel. You did in the short time. If I would have had you on for three more live streams, I'm sure you would have caused more shit. I'm sure of it. And you would have been laughing as trolls came backstage because that's your mentality. You like when people mock me. You're not respectful. You're not respectful as a guest. And you're not respectful. When I was on your channel, you disrespected me by muting me. After all you did, I never muted you. So there you go. Shows what you are. Everything you're saying now shows what you are. Shows your character. I don't do is ever create an expectation for Bex's behavior based on that. So Bex gets to have Snafu come up here. She gets to be his best friend if she wants to, right? Uh, and my view of Snafu and how he conducts himself has nothing to do with how I interact with Bex. And I, a lot of folks, in my opinion, erroneously, you know, create some sort of a relationship with a third person like Snafu and then just assume that their friend group, if I could say, you know, Bex is my uh, internet friend, I would say by now, you know, why would I create a, an expectation for how she's going to conduct herself? I'm just setting myself up for strife and hurt. Not creating an expectation. Birds of a feather flock together. Do you understand? Criminals stick together. Uh, grifters, demons, team evil. That's how this realm overall works, not just on YouTube and not just in your little panel community. That's how things work here for the most part, 99.999% of the time. So I'm not going to ignore that just because it's Bex and has losers that are coming over mocking my channel saying cupcake and all this stuff and she's laughing. It does reflect on her. Okay. If she finds somebody disrespecting me or attacking me so funny, it does reflect on her. I don't need, quote, friends like that, fake friends. I don't need that, Benton. I want quality on my channel. I want excellence. I don't want trash. Do you understand? I have more subs than you do. I have more subs than Benton and her combined. And I see quality and I throw out trash every day. And I still get more. Because quality is drawn to quality. I can get rid of trash. It helps my channel. Because people are like, yeah, it's funnier because the trash gets thrown out. They don't stick around and overwhelm the chat or the channel or the comments. I take out the trash. You, t you guys tend to let it build up. Not just you two. But everyone in this circle tends to let it build up. And they love it. Until they have a hoarder's house full of trash. And they wonder where all the quality, intelligent people went. People don't want to hang with that. I have reasons for doing what I do. You can question it. You can not understand it. That's fine. I know what I'm doing on my channel. And my channel's growing all the time. 
3,100 plus subs in a year, and I'm one of the most hated people in the quote community, outside of the community, on YouTube. And people keep coming and coming and coming like an exodus. Do you understand? I know what I'm doing. Feelings and problems in my own internet friendship, of which I don't have very many. By the way, Drew is one of those people, even though we've been on again, off again as friends, right? Uh, EBT, same thing, although not, we typically get along. Same thing with TBE. You know, we're at You can talk about all these douchebags, but they're not my quote friends. I think you guys call anyone a friend that you chat with. That's not a friend to me. That's someone on the internet. I don't think you people on my screen know what a friend is. My version of a friend is different from yours. If you can imagine. Different. Different. each other's throats half the time right but what i don't do is create expectations for these people's behavior and generally they don't do it to me although it has happened and it always creates what problems do we want problems in our internet friendships i don't well i would say eliminating those expectations is a good way to uh prevent some of those problems from ever occurring but uh, please continue i appreciate that i appreciate that and that's exactly i know <clears throat> from my experience with you that even in some of the conversations I have with Stephen and I'm mostly talking about the ones that are up on his channel now but he did late, have some really long streams he did have two channels shut down um, in the past uh, you know a 95 hour stream doesn't even keep 12 hours of it on YouTube we've learned that now so um, but I do know that there was a lot of times where I was asked about TML, EBT, TBE um and drew and i know there were times where you know if, if i don't even know ebt that well i find him hilarious i'm in the same chats with him um we've recently said hello to one another uh then i was over on sanity machines channel and you know he has nicknames for everybody and i'm not going to sit there and tell someone not to call someone something you know especially some host of his own channel you know, I'm going to assume that the people watching know that and know that I don't share the opinions of the content creator, even if I actually did get involved. I, I do. I do drag people. I don't. I do laugh with him on the people I don't know, but he makes really credible arguments for their 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 being shills. They're being shekels. You know, when he's when it comes close to the, you know, the panel channel community, I didn't understand that I saw this all as a response as him seeing people who might have had conversations at the time. She just wants everyone to like her from EBT to, to Toilet Bowl or whoever. That's what she wants. She doesn't want quality friends, real friends. She wants to be liked by everyone. And if you think you're ever going to be liked by everyone, lady, you are delusional. Delusional. Because not just you. Nobody's going to like anyone. Okay? There's not going to be a person in the world. As, I, I've said that the wrong way. There's not going to be someone in the world that's liked by everyone. No one. Not just Bex. It's impossible for everyone to like you. That's what you want. You want everyone to like you. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. I don't mind when people don't like me. And I voice it when I don't like certain people. If you want to be liked by everyone, good luck to you. Good luck. Good luck. I'll give you some applause. You go, girl. You go, girl. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, good luck. I hope it works out for you. I don't think it will. I think it's foolishness. Actually did get involved. I, I do, I do drag people I don't, I do laugh with him on the people I don't know, but he makes really credible arguments for their, their, their being shills, their being shekels. You know, when he's when it comes close to the, 
you know, the panel channel community, I didn't understand that I saw this all as a response as him seeing people who might have had conversations at the time, been on panel with Drew as Drew made these these videos. Again, I don't know. I didn't check any of it out. But all I know is that, you know, uh, the, the more I sat in those conversations, like I said, the only person, the only people I felt comfortable talking about were people that I felt could actually, that I knew well enough, you know, to... Uh, to talk to me about uh, what I might have said after the fact, you know? No, you don't check anything out, lady. And that's your a big part of your problem. You don't research. You just listen to people talk. All you want to do is be on talking on your show and talking on other panels. You don't really look into what's really going on, what's been recorded in videos. I don't think you watch any recorded videos. I really don't. I think you just watch live streams, these panel channels. That's your life. It's not mine. We're not from the same circle. You can call it a community. I'm not part of your community. Not at all. Not at all. So don't ever try to include me with people that I don't even watch, including the ones that I mentioned that are scum. I don't watch Toilet Bowl Earth's channel. He makes videos about me. I don't watch his shit. I don't watch it. I don't watch Machine Lies. I don't watch EBT. I can't remember the last time I watched a Chalk Body or Get Chalked Up. Probably when I hopped on, I don't know, months ago. I'm not in your quote community. So get over that, lady. Okay? You don't watch things. You don't research things. So there's a lot you can't talk about because you don't know anything that's going on. You don't understand shills. You just listen and you want to give opinions, but you don't know anything about this stuff. All you do is sit on panel channels. You're not a researcher. You're not a truth seeker. Okay? You're just not. You've proven that to me. Well, the only thing you research has to do with gender. That's it. That's it. And the rest I just left in the wind because I, I, I want to get to know these people better, you know? And, uh, I have no reason to not to to not like them or to agree with someone who's judging people's behavior. Oh, judging. Here we go with judging. She wants everybody to like her. She's the girl that wanted to be liked by everyone and wasn't. And she never outgrew that. Never. She has no reason. I don't care who you like or dislike. I don't give a shit. But a true friend is kind of on the side of someone that's attacked whether it's physically or however slander, and that's who I look at, the people that are with you and don't join in with the mob. And I think you want to be liked by everyone, even if they're scum. You don't care, okay? And how dare I judge? You say it just like feminists do. He is judging. Yes, I do judge. Judgment is good. You've been programmed to believe that judging is bad. You're a feminist. You're a lefty. And the rest I just left in the wind because I, I, I want to get to know these people better, you know, and uh, I have no reason to not to, to not like them. Or to agree with someone who's judging people's behavior on panels when he doesn't have the time and hasn't spent the time to see the social isolation that's... Uh, to see the effects on the people, all of our social isolation and what kind of curative means some of this can have on some of us. Yeah, hours and hours of videos attacking and slandering me is really having a curative effect on people. Really. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You talk out of your ass. You need that. You need this to be a community. That's what you need. I don't need your shit quote community fake ass community that's what it is of two-faced people and they'll turn on you and you'll turn on others eventually too that's the type you are you showed what you are
not to mention the information, the friendships, the laughter. So again, I'm not trying to suck up to anyone, but I am saying that the more I sat there, the more I felt protective of, of the people I've met out here and not protective, like anything serious could happen, but just this idea that had I, had I brought, um, unnecessary criticism to the community, to more members. Well, and it's she's loyal to the community that she's not even friends with as she's sitting on my channel pretending to get to know me and all this stuff, but she'll defend people that have been vicious towards me, lying about me, falsely accusing me, slandering me, smear campaigning me for months. That's okay, though. Right? There you go. That shows what she is. I don't want her around me. Don't want her around me. I'm glad this is coming out now. Better now than later. Better now than later. far as the sanity machine cbo stuff you know i didn't watch any of it i well i saw bits and pieces here and there uh, and that was my first introduction to uh steven um however uh i'd been through my own version of the same thing with the same people and i know what causes that is it's his arrogance which is not a problem by the way and how I know this is because I'm pretty much equally as arrogant as he is, as far as how he comes. And I'm not calling him arrogant. I'm saying that I know enough about Drew. Come on, Benton. You're calling me arrogant. It's not a competition. You're not in my league. I'm more arrogant than you are. <laughs> I just make a joke out of it. I like to make people laugh on my channel, even if I'm poking fun at myself. All right? That's what I want to do. I don't care how people see me on here. The true ones will see truly. The others won't see me at all. They won't see what I am at all. This is Mickey from Natural Borg Killers that he's using here as his avatar. And Bex is using fake AI art because she can't create art herself. She can't draw and she can't paint. So she d types it into a computer online and it makes it for, makes images for her. There you go. Make that, make of it what you will. Is it true what I just said? Yes, it is. Ask them both, and you'll ver they'll say, they have to say, that it's true. AI art, and this is from Natural Born Killers. The movie, I believe it came out in the 1990s, with Woody Harrelson. to know that Stephen's behavior will be interpreted as arrogant. See, I'm not mm. see I'm not even calling Stephen arrogant. What I'm saying yeah. is that I'm more extreme this way than I am in person, that's for sure. I do step it up a few levels to really hammer it home to people. I used to be actually very shy and humble as a kid and nobody listened. And I started to figure out how this society works. You can't be that way if you're going to make any sort of impact on others. They don't want soft-spoken. They don't want humble. They don't want shy. They don't want daydreamers, introverts. They don't want that. They don't want to hear from you. They have deaf ears. And there are ways of hammering home, toughen up Cupcake and start listening. <laughs> anyway, you'll, you'll see what I am one day outside of this body is when you'll really be able to see what I am. And that's when some of you are going to get a rude awakening because you expect he's just a spirit like us. You expect equality. We're not equal. We're not the same. You're going to see that. You're going to see that. It's going to be glorious. Okay? Glorious. Doubt now. Doubt now and find out later. It's going to be glorious. Trust me. The rude awakening is going to be glorious because we're not all the same. We're not all the same. We have different abilities. We have different spirits, different energy, different bio spirits. We are different. Isn't that remarkable in a world that has taught you that we're all the same, we're all equal? You're going to see the difference. And it's going to be fucking glorious because I can see what I am when I'm still in this body. I might be able to see more than you can. Can you imagine that? 
the ones on the screen right here, and others, in the panel community, and the rest, the demons, Team Evil, I might be able to see things you guys can't. Can you fucking imagine that? And by the time you can realize that I do see more and have different abilities and that I'm different, it's too late. It's too late for you to say, I'm sorry, or I didn't mean to do that. All those years down there that I harassed you and attacked you and tried to smear campaign you, and I was a demon towards you, I'm sorry, Stephen. It's too late at that point. It's too late. I'm going to be pointing at Earth saying, you stay down there forever and ever. And that's going to be fun for me. Finally, some justice that you can't get in this world. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. That's what I call fun. have some similar behavior that's interpreted as arrogant right arrogance doesn't bother me at all like i'm confused that people aren't more arrogant you know i find it confusing so i'm like yeah why well, yeah i'm arrogant why aren't you you know um that's just how i look at things right but i know how folks like drew and others they react very viscerally to what they perceive to be arrogance and that's mm -hmm. that is the crux of the matter Mm -hmm. But then people, and I'll only speak for myself here because I don't even know Stephen and I'm not interested in, you know, character assassinate. And I'm not saying that you are either. I'm just saying I'm not exactly. trying to go there. There's no reason for me to go there, but I can, I can make points based on my own experience. Um, you know, a person like me who does have some traits that are perceived as arrogant, well, when somebody, when I perceive I'm being attacked, I just attack very strongly. That's just what I do, right? So I'm assuming Steven did his own version of that. I'm guessing, right? Yeah. And probably handled himself quite well. But then that crowd, what they play on is the reactions of the arrogant person. That's what they're critiquing, right? So my yeah. own arrogant reactions were critiqued endlessly for an extended period of time right mm -hmm. so much so that i think everybody's just more or less given up and i'm not really in their streams anymore and then drew's not really doing streams i'm not in their discords anymore but you know i occasionally have a conversation with tbe or drew and it goes well right but yeah. as long as they're not picking at me in a way that's going to make me forceful right like there's there's nothing to fight about Gonna jump in here. I wouldn't care if that crew tried to attack me and smear me for years. In the end, I know what I'm gonna do. You understand? I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. And I keep telling people that. And it's gonna hit people. As the British say, the penny will drop eventually. And realize, oh, now I understand. He doesn't just mean YouTube. He's gonna do what he's gonna do spiritually out of body bigger than this little shitty thing on youtube on computers and the internet in this little shithole hell realm he's going to do on a grander scale you might say out there beyond this steven's going to do what he's going to do no matter what the demons do <laughs> you see what i'm saying and it's going to be glorious glorious it might sound like i'm a madman all the double thumbs up great you can view it that way there's people in this realm that are so limited they have to put a label on someone call me a madman a cult leader arrogant a demon this that i don't care what i'm labeled it doesn't matter man it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i laugh it off it doesn't matter what matters is what i'm going to do what i'm going to do is going to be glorious magnificent spectacular Okay. I don't aim low, if you see what I'm saying. Somebody said to me many, many years ago, decades ago, and uh, it was someone I wasn't really a girlfriend, dating a little bit in a sense, but just kind of a thing between relationships. And she said, you know, what you lack is ambition, because I didn't want to 
work hard to get a big job. She said that you're brilliant, but you just lack ambition. I have some of the biggest ambition, I think, of anybody that's ever walked this earth with two legs and two feet to end this place. That's the biggest ambition of all. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You probably don't. Because you'd have to do a lot of watching of videos and research and understand. Oh, it makes sense now. Now I see. You don't get there in a day. Nobody does. Nobody understands this topic in a day like Drew wanted. A day or a 10-minute little summary. It's bigger than that. But it's going to be so beautiful. So beautiful. I can't help but laugh. It's going to feel euphoric to end this fucking place. And I don't care if both on the panel said, no, don't, don't do that. It's against our will. Keep this earth realm going. I don't care. I don't care if 10 million of you said, no, don't do that. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Too many people in my life have tried to hold my arms back and stop me from doing what's right. I'm not going to allow that to happen. This has to be done. It's the moral thing to do. It's the moral thing to do. If I have a moral imperative, it is to end this suffering fucking hell realm ruled over by demons and to free the good spirits. Okay? Does that sound crazy? Does that sound like a madman speaking? I don't care again. I don't care. They can call me insanity machine. Whatever they want. Whatever they want. They can call me the bully. When demons have tried to bully and attack me and backstab me my entire life since I've been born into this place, I've dealt with that. I'll take them all on. Six million at once. You like that number? Think about it. You'll probably think the wrong way because you haven't done the research again. Most haven't done the research on things to know what I'm talking about. That's a big problem in this realm. They sit around yapping like old hens on these panel channels and they don't learn anything about where they are and what really happened in this place. They don't understand. They just talk all night long. They just yap, 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 yap and say nothing. Just these two, millions do this on the internet all night long, every night. Okay? Potentially billions. I don't know what the world population actually is. I know the shit numbers they give people. And now yeah. why those people are that way, I have no idea. I've accepted that these are my internet friends. This is how they are. I'm not trying to change them, and I don't expect them to be any different than what they exactly were. His internet friends, people that attacked him, he doesn't know what a friend is. He doesn't understand what a friend is. They're his internet friends. I hope this goes down. Her subscribers, I encourage you not to be participating on this channel. Okay? I don't think it's a good place for you. And I don't want people from this channel on my channel. You know, I'll say it this way. They're not welcome. I banned some of these already. Most of the people on this one is banned. Um, Robin Blue, others here that are over here have been banned. Some recently, some months ago, some a long time ago. Okay. But if you're supporting this shit, I don't want you. So I don't encourage, I don't support this channel. I don't recommend it. Um, I realize I did post links to this channel in the past two weeks or so. I don't want people over here. I don't, I just, it's crap. Okay. I'll just say what I think. That's what it is. That's my opinion. I think it's garbage. I think it's trash. And they say a lot of trash over there and, uh, I think she's really worried about her subscribers. I would like to see this drop by another 140. What they are. So, of course, they did that to Steven. And I'm not saying it's right, but that's what they do. 
And again, uh, realizing there's no such thing as accountability or credibility, yeah, they're free to behave that way. And I can have an opinion, Stephen can have an opinion, you can have an opinion. And I have a right to defend myself and fight back as well, which I have done. They didn't bury me. My channel is still here and still growing. Do you understand? I'm still reaching people. I will fight the demons to the bitter end, even if everybody betrayed me, which I don't expect. I already know the ones that won't. I have a good idea in my mind of the ones that are good spirits and just wouldn't do that to me. And aren't that way. Okay? They're not that way. And they are good. And I do love them. Okay? I've never met them. I've only known them through the internet, but I can tell that the goodness is there. And I do care about them. And I am protective of them. That's the way I am. I don't care if you people aren't that way with... You do you. I'm going to be me. So the ones on my channel, I am protective of them, the ones that I know well enough, okay? And I am protective of them, and I wouldn't just let somebody tear them to shreds. I wouldn't do that. I would step in, it, including in the physical realm or in the spiritual realm, if I saw them attacked. I would go after whatever was attacking them, and uh, with a ferocity and fierceness that you probably couldn't even imagine, because I don't allow that to happen to the good. I am protective of the good and the real and the innocent and the ones that aren't two-faced and the ones that have shown goodness and caring and loyalty. I am protective of them. So whatever demons have in mind, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Okay? It's not going to work. I will think 10, 20, 50 moves ahead. Do you understand? Beyond this life, I'm thinking ahead into the next realm. I'm already thinking of that, and I'm still here, okay? I'm thinking of there, too. So bring it on. Not to you two, but any, any demons lurking, listening to this video, bring it on. Try and face me. You're too cowardly on YouTube to do it. What do you think's going to happen out of body? What do you think's going to happen? I suggest you change completely while you're in this realm. That's your chance. While you're here, you better really do the work on yourself or you're not going to like it. What do I mean? A spiritual battle, good versus evil outside of here, is coming. And you'll see it. You'll, you're going to see it one day. And am I saying I'm psychic or that I know? No. I'm saying I'm going to start it if I have to. If it's not going on when I get out of here and there's nothing happen when I leave this matrix, I'm going to start that battle of good versus evil. Do you understand? That's how I know it's going to happen. Okay? Because I will do that. I'm sick of this fucking hell realm. I'm sick of seeing good people suffer and innocent children suffer and the elderly suffer and the middle-aged people. I don't care what your age is. Man, woman, child, elderly, you know, an old woman, an old man. A boy, a girl, someone, a child in a wheelchair, a teenager in a wheelchair, ones that are disabled, deformed. I am sick of the fucking suffering in this place and all the fucking stupid empty excuses that are made for it to try to cover it up. Doesn't work. This has to end. This never should have existed to begin with, this fucking place. And one day you might see what I mean on a deep, deep level. And you might even want to hug me or just say, you know what? You really showed me what this place is because I didn't see it. And I hope I am helping people. I know I have to be passionate. I am already passionate about this already, but I have to hammer it home to people sometimes. And I'm, I'm the types of, with the, I'm the type, sorry, that's willing to take a big fucking hammer and big spikes and hammer it home if I have to, to get through to you. Cause I know that taking a feather and dusting you and saying, it's okay. It's all going to be okay. You know, you don't have to know anything. That doesn't work. That doesn't wake people up. Sometimes you really have to break through to them. It's like breaking through a big fucking chunk of ice with a chisel. Okay? You take a big chunk. I'm talking about a chunk out of a river that's two feet thick. And you try to break that ice. And that's what I'm trying to do. Okay? I'm trying to break through to you. trying to do what no one else has done that's what i'm trying to do because a lot of you live to be 30 40 50 years 60 years 70 years old 
and nobody's done what I'm doing. You've never encountered somebody like me before that's trying to break through to you and get this through to you. I do get worked up. It's 4.30 a.m. and I'm making this video and I'm this worked up. You understand? I have fire in my fucking veins and passion about this topic. I'm passionate about the truth. And I'm sick of this world of lies and liars and backstabbers. I'm sick to death of this place and the disease and the suffering here that I see. The corruption, the deceptions, everything that goes on here. It's just like a fucking... It's a, it's a hellhole and it's like black goo or something. It just looks evil and awful and seething. That's what this place is. And people just accept it. Well, this is the way it is. Well, that's not good enough. It doesn't add up. I thought I could tear this place down with my bare fucking hands. I'd be doing it here, but it doesn't work that way. I have to get into his spirit out of this li limited body with a governor on it, including a governor on the brain and on the body and on psychic abilities. We have a governor that limits us, but out of the body that is gone and wait and see what I do. Just wait and see. I can't wait to, I can't wait for it. I can't wait to slay these fucking demons. Okay. But I am going to help people get out so I can have a, a legion, an army with me to fight them. Because there are a lot of them. There's more than you imagine. It's not just a few in this place. You are surrounded by them. I'm not saying that to make you fearful, to make you sad, depressed, scared. Not, not at all. You are a warrior. Look at how far you've made it already. Okay? You are a magical being. They want you to feel powerless and you are powerful. You're full of power. You're a magical being, and they want to diminish you. They want to trick you into believing that you don't have power. Okay? They want you scared and fearful. I don't want you that way. I want you going out of this place like a warrior. Like you just can't wait to sink your teeth into them. And that's the way I am. I don't care if blood is flying all over the Spiritual blood, YouTube, is what I'm speaking about. I don't care. You know, you know what I'm saying? I can't go too deeply into it because YouTube will probably take my fucking video down. Just saying it's, you know, whatever. Anyway, I'll carry on with this video. Maybe I'll say it on another platform and just let loose, but there's so many restrictions here. Not just on YouTube, but in this realm. You can't speak freely in this fucking place. But that doesn't really change anything. And then I always choose what to interact with, right? So, you know, whatever interactions I have with Steven will be what I choose. And I'm assuming that will be the same for him, right? What I'm not going to do is run around and gossip about somebody that I don't even know. And if y'all notice, when that whole Drew CB, when the whole CBO sanity machine stuff was going on, you could probably, I'm probably in the chat at times, right? But what you want. They didn't have enough against me to even stand a chance. It wasn't fair. They only outnum outnumbered me 8 to 1, 10 to 1, 12 to 1, whatever it was. It wasn't even close. I destroyed them. They didn't bunk anything that I said. Not even close. Okay, <laughs> and it's gonna be fucking great. I don't mind the odds stacked against me. I don't. I, I don't mind being outnumbered. It could be all of YouTube against me, and I'd be laughing, saying, "Bring it on, bring it on." <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'll go this far for people that don't understand. They s demons on here or in this realm could ki double hockey sticks me, and I'd be raising my two middle fingers saying, fuck you, you're going to lose. I'm winning. Do you understand? And I raised my middle fingers just not even thinking about it as I was speaking. You know, you can't see me, but I have them raised right now. Not to these people on the screen, but to demons. That would be an honorable, glorious death and way to leave this place. Wouldn't, bo wouldn't bother me a bit to go out that way as a warrior. 
I don't have a death wish, so don't take it that way, which is what stupid people do. They jump to conclusions. They make stupid false assumptions. They do all this stupid shit. I'm here to spread a message here, okay? Nobody sent me on this mission. I'm here on my own, and I'm doing what I do, and I'm doing it for free. I don't want any money. I don't owe anybody. I don't answer to anybody. I don't have a boss. I don't have a handler. I don't have anybody telling me what to make, what to say. I'm going to do what I do. And that's what I'm going to do the rest of my lifetime here. Not by anybody else's rules. I'm going to do what I do. You know, I grew up with a family that was always trying to control me. Always trying to push me into things that I didn't want to do. They wanted me to play golf. And I, and I kind of enjoyed golf, but not really. And they bought me expensive sets of golf clubs, which I never even used once. I ended up giving them away. Okay, When I moved, I gave them away a set. I don't know what it cost, but I mean, golf clubs are not cheap. No kind is cheap. But I mean, I, I never used them. A whole set with the bag, everything. Okay, They did stuff like that, that my family would try to push me into things that way. They'd never buy me something that I wanted or help me get into something that I was interested in. They wanted to push what they were into. And I'm going to do what I'm going to do okay, in this realm. Whether I starve to death, end up homeless, whatever the case, I'm going to push this as far as I fucking can. That might sound absolutely crazy, insane, might sound like madness or what people perceive to be madness when they don't actually know what madness is at all. They go by a modern fucking propaganda definition rather than the ancient definition. Madness is, is inspiration divinity. It's linked with divinity. I'm a divine being. I'm not a moron. I don't just have a little tiny, tiny little spark of madness that Nietzsche or somebody talked about. I'm the whole fucking madhouse on fire. A big, ancient, gothic madhouse that's blocks in size. It's huge. I'm the whole thing on fire. And that's, I'm still more than that. I'm like an ocean on fire. That's what I'm like. Okay, that's, that's the passion that I have. Does that sound crazy? Good. I hope it does. I don't give a shit. I don't, I don't care about, quote, optics. Like, oh, uh-oh, optics. I don't give a shit about what you people care about in your circles. Not you two individually, but your fucking community. Optics. Well, Bex cares about That's her title. So, yeah, she does care about optics. I don't know if this guy does. I don't know Benton. But the others do care about optics. They talk about the stupid shit. I don't care about optics. I care about being me authentic and people understanding the, my message and getting in the cross i won't be fake i won't sugarcoat shit for people not at all if i get banned so be it okay if i get ki double hockey stick so be it i'm gonna be myself my authentic true self i'm gonna be me that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm doing that's what i'm gonna do that's what I'm going to do. Does that sound crazy? Good. I hope it does. Won't see is me just going in on somebody because everybody else is. Like, I don't do that. Now, I will go in on somebody if, you know, I choose to, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I conduct myself quite strategically in these matters, which is completely fine. I'm, I'm free to be as strategic as I want. You know, folks can construe that as manipulative or, you know, conniving. That's fine. But, uh, you know, the way I view life is I'm here to, um, you know, live my purpose. And some of that will always. What purpose are you here for? You're in a hell realm. You, I don't think you know where you are. That's what I think. Take it as w whatever. You, if I if this society locked me up in an asylum, a madhouse, and I had a mirror somewhere, I would probably say with with the craziest patients gathered around, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the maddest one of all? <laughs> because I am the emperor of the mad. Do you understand? Of course you don't understand. How could you? How could anyone understand what I'm talking about when it comes to this? Because madness has been vilified. And a stigma put on it, people don't understand what it is at all. They don't have a clue. They don't have a fucking clue. They worship their sanity. 
Oh, sanity. I want to, I want to keep my sanity. I want to stay sane. Go under your cupboard and it'll show, it'll show all the sanitizer shit. It's all fucking chemicals. Is that what you want? You want to be toilet bowl cleaner? You want to sanitize yourself like sanitizing a toilet? Want to clean shit? Is that what you're saying about yourself and your spirit? Madness is beautiful. Sanity is all the world's plague. Be strategic. Like I'm going to go most likely going to go back to work as a truck driver and that's their strategies involved in that and i've been engaging those strategies for over a week now right it's just how and the, and by the way the recruiters are using their own strategies to get me to potentially work for their company and not other companies so that they can get the commission like mm-hmm. all of life works this way folks yeah uh, i think it's silly to pretend like it doesn't yeah and by the way if you and uh, Steven end up having some sort of, you know, static between each other. Guess what? It doesn't transfer on to me. I, I'm, I, I'm not now beholden to go fight anybody else's battles. That's oh, of crazy. course not. Of course yeah. not. And, and I know no, you don't expect yeah. that. This is more for yeah. the crowd. Like I'm, exactly. I'm actually sort of educating, uh, and some folks already know this, right? But yeah, please go ahead. Yeah. I was just, just going to say, I know that, um, uh, that with the time that, that, uh, that the sanity machine was over here uh definitely people were really keen to hear conversations between the two of you not even about the similar uh the situation that you might have been in similarly but just um very interesting i want to jump in maybe i'll toot my own horn here people on youtube have wanted me to be on these panel shows forever they've wanted to interview me they want me as a guest they're keen you could say as she put it to hear me speak and hear my thoughts, ideas, insights, theories, philosophy, model. They want to know what I have to say. Okay? They understand at a certain level that I'm not a dummy. All right? That's great. That's great. I rarely ever did this. I didn't think I would ever go on this shit. Uh, chalk body outline kicked it off. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go on them from now on to disrupt the system and not be a guest and just go on to fucking disrupt things. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of spontaneous. I'm I'm, I'm kind of a bit unpredictable. Okay? But I am having fun. I am having fun. And I am seeing who's who in this place, in this realm. And that's what I'm doing. By the way, did I mention that Bex banned me from her channel and from uh, StreamYard from being a guest? So I can't type in comments and I can't join as a guest on her channel. So I have no way to communicate on her channel my point of view, and that's why I'm recording it this this way, to respond. Okay? Because she kicked me off and blocked me. So that's what happened, everyone. That's what happened. interested in hearing uh, the two of you dialogue, especially about, say, the near-death experience stuff or just in general. I know people were like, I'd really like to see Benton and uh, and Stephen talk about things, right? Um, well, yeah, and which would probably be me listening most of the time, which, I, which mm-hmm. I'm happy to do, but I can listen from the chat while I'm doing other things. Like, I don't need to have a box on. Well, Bex, I think your channel, you blew it. I'm not going to be on your channel discussing... NDEs or knowledge. I have a lot of knowledge. A lot. Not just about NDEs, but about a lot of topics. And I'm not I'm not going to share it with you and your audience. I don't think your audience is deserving. I don't owe them anything. They were rude to me as a guest before and I said nothing to them. They were launching insults and being stupid, being dumb. There you go. I, I think your audience is at a very, very low level. Very low level. That's what I see. 
what I see. It's probably 99 out of 100 on your channel that are pretty low at this point. Except for the ones that came from my channel. And I hope they don't stay there. I just hope they don't stay there and choose to stay on your channel. I don't recommend a Bex's channel. I just don't. necessarily right i think yeah. that's what folks may not realize you know especially if i can type a comment you know what i mean um it, it's interesting you know i'm not the same way with everyone in the same situation you know in, in different situations i'm a different person and then i've noticed where some folks will try to uh imply or project onto me that i need to be exactly the same in all scenarios well that's a mistake like that's a character, by the way. That's just that's just um, what's what's his name from Seinfeld. You know, that's uh, Kramer from Seinfeld. Basically, I become a caricature of myself at that point. If I'm only ever going to behave exactly the same in all scenarios with all people, that's insane. Like, why do I have the ability to, you know, update my personality or my persona on the fly? Like that has to be there for a reason. You know, it can't just be oh, I have very high levels of being able to more or less invent a persona on the spot, not in a fake way, actually in a way that many folks find authentic, believe it or not. But Im so I'm in just imbued with those abilities naturally. And I'm supposed to just be a caricature of myself. That doesn't even make sense. Mm -hmm. Well, and you know me well enough. And I think considering how, how, how little time I actually have out here, with uh, with the optics on me at all in these panel communities it's only actually her voice is starting to bother me now it just is it, it i understand i'm really picking up on things that people have noticed too there's just something about her voice now it's really getting to me it's hard to i'm going to push through this but yeah it bothers me it really does i thought she was you know had something intelligent to say but not just this video but hey i mean I think she's fixated on gender, fixated on other people. She's not a researcher. She's not someone that looks into topics. we been about two and a half months. Um, maybe there was a bit more because I was streaming from my own channel, but I mean, I'd, I'd been, I'd made a lot of friends out in, on other people's panels, but ultimately, like, uh, I have been, I, I realized very quickly that I had to, you know, I, I also had to strategize for like, oh, sorry, the one more thing. Sorry, I forgot yeah, to please. add this. You know, I've yeah. now started watching Sanity Machines content, which as far as I can tell, that's what he wants, right? I don't know that he wants a conversation with me necessarily. Uh, he definitely has stated that he wants people to watch his content. Well, guess what? I wasn't watching his content. Now I am. So mission accomplished, yeah. by the way. Please go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and just to be clear, like, I have no problem with Stephen, period. You know, I'm sad the communication broke down. I'm sad that, you know. I know you have no problem with me. That's why you're saying I'm a liar. You said I have a mess messianic complex. You said a bunch of shit here, Bex, tonight for hours about me. For hours. You laughed at shit that people said in your chat about me. Uh, yeah, you, you've, you, you definitely do have a problem with me. You just can't be honest. You have a selective memory or short memory now. What is it? But you do have a problem with me. Why not just say it, you know? And I think you'll have a problem when you see your subscriber count going down, too. You probably won't like that. Well, too bad. That's what you care about. Of course, she doesn't have a problem with me. She banned me from her channel, her chat, and from uh, StreamYards as a guest. Kicked me off and then banned me from entering the studio. I'm completely banned on her channel more than I am on anyone else's channel. But, you know, she has no problem with me, right? Come on, give me a break.
that's what he wants, right? I don't know that he wants a conversation with me necessarily. Uh, he definitely has stated that he wants people to watch his content. Well, guess what? I wasn't watching his content. Now I am. So mission accomplished, yeah. by the way. Please go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and just to be clear, like, I have no problem with Steven, period. You know, I'm sad the communication broke down. I'm sad that, you know, in I've been in that stage. I've been in that stage where I, I don't know who to trust, you know. I've sent crazy oh, emails. Yeah. To people, well, there's no, you know? yes, he trust is a big <laughs> one. And I'm going to, I want to revisit that, but please go ahead. Well, yeah. So, you know, I get, yeah, all I was going to say, I know what it's like to be so excited to talk to all these people that I'd only seen in chat in places to be in control of the time spent. You know, I know what it's like to actually have so many conversations with people. I'm, I've got the highlights in my mind. I think I have a better memory than a lot of people just because I don't leave my content up. I think it's forced me to go back in my mind's eye a lot, you know, to, 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 to verify, not that that means anything out here. People want to go be able to check for themselves, but I just know for me, I'm here for my evolution, not to be rude to anyone. Right. But I am here for me, you know, I'm here to, yeah, you are there for you. I'm going to end this here. Uh, you have a great memory, Bex. You don't remember yelling, leaving my live stream, and then banning me and all the shit you said about me here. You forgot it already, but your memory's fantastic, Bex. It's really good. You got such a good memory. I mean, give me a break. I'm going to end it here. I hope people enjoyed watching this. Take care. We'll end it on a great number. Mad love to you.